Future predictions are notoriously hard to make. Why is that? Because technology does not progress in a steady state, it accelerates. And usually the technology advances faster than we can imagine it, let alone predict it. But still, many predictions that were made in the past have turned out to be true, even though they were unimaginable at the time that the prediction was made. For example, in 1865, Jules Verne, the author who wrote 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Journey to the Center of the Earth, predicted that we would send people to the moon, and it would be precisely three people from, of all places, Florida. And he even described weightlessness in space. He had no way to know, 150 years ago, how gravity would behave in space. In 1909, Nikola Tesla, the inventor of the AC electrical system, predicted widespread use of personal wireless devices. This was over 100 years ago. What do these predictions have in common? They were all ridiculed at the time as foolish speculation. But of course, we now know they were pretty much spot on. So what are some of the predictions that today's scientists and authors are making? I am sure they will seem just as ridiculous to us today. Let's take a look at what I consider the top 10 most incredible predictions from some of the world's most renowned thinkers, coming up right now. Now, I'm going to list these predictions in order of shock value, from the least shocking to the most shocking. Number 10, according to Nadia Thalman, computer graphics scientist at the University of Geneva, CGI will replace most extras and actors in movies. Only the main characters and A-list top stars of the movies will be live actors. Now, this has already started to happen, for example, in the movie Avatar. So acting may not be the best career choice in the future. Not that it is right now. Number nine, we'll never have to go shopping for groceries or anything else again, as drones will deliver food and other items on demand directly to your home. Now this is already in the works, as you might know, and it's called Prime Air by guess who? Amazon. They already made the first drone delivery in the UK in 2016. Professor Benjamin Clark, professor of planning and public policy at the University of Oregon predicts, that most people will not own cars but get rides in driverless self-driving cars. These will be a lot less expensive than owning your own car, and some of these will be free, sponsored by corporations, where you'll have to listen to ads throughout your entire ride if you want the ride to be free. They'll be called AVs or autonomous vehicles. Number seven, you'll be able to access the internet, check email, and watch movies through your contact lens. This is coming sooner than you might think, Scientists at Samsung have already developed a prototype that's being tested on rabbits. Number six, Melanie Walker, medical advisor to the World Bank predicts, hospitals will be on their way out. We will mostly treat ourselves in our homes, perhaps with the help of doctors through telemedicine. Fewer accidents will occur because of self-driving cars. Tiny nano robots will be able to be injected into our bodies to fight diseases. We'll be able to 3D print biological organs. All this will happen within 20 years, she predicts. Number five, Stephen Hawking, who needs no introduction, predicted that we would need to leave Earth by 2115 because the Earth will have become so toxic due to climate change, epidemics, and population growth that it will be virtually uninhabitable. He has made some of the most dire predictions as well. He was not an eternal optimist. Number four, Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft, predicts that within 20 years, Robots and AI will displace millions of jobs. He proposes taxing corporations on using robots in order to fund the transition of humans away from these jobs and retraining them. Now, for the top three. Here we get into some really crazy stuff. Number three, Ray Kurzweil, famous futurist who has been right 90% of the time and is the current director of engineering at Google, believes that within 30 years, we will be able to communicate with our dead relatives via virtual reality. How will this happen? We will be able to preserve memories and thoughts of people by scraping memories from their brain using tiny nanobots and put them straight into a computer. And through AI software, the computer will be able to mimic the personality, voice, and intelligence of our dead relatives such that we will be able to talk with them and you may not even realize that you're talking to an AI. According to nanotech pioneer J. Storrs Hall, by 2045, swarms of tiny nanoscale robots called foglets will be able to take the shape of virtually any object you can think of and change on the fly to anything else that you can think of. If you've ever seen the robots of Terminator 2 and 3, you'll know what I'm talking about. And number one, according to British futurist Ian Pearson, who predicted music subscriptions at smartwatches almost 30 years ago and has been right 85% of the time, says that by 2050, neurotechnology will enable people to communicate with each other through 
thought alone. How will this happen? He says that by putting computer chips in our brain, we will be able to interface our brains with advanced quantum computers located in the cloud. And other people who will similarly be connected to this cloud would be able to communicate with each other over this quantum cloud without physically talking to each other. So imagine being able to talk to, learn from, and perhaps even being able to download the skills of just about every other human being on Earth. Now, I realize that these predictions might sound silly today, but so did all the other predictions that I talked about at the beginning of this video, and people who made them were ridiculed. Anyway, what do you think? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below which ones you think will actually happen and which ones are just a bunch of hogwash. And if you like this video and want to be informed about future videos we put up, then be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.